Yes, guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Thank you for clicking into another retro review. It's time to do WCW 1995 Uncensored, and it ain't getting much better. It's probably got to be the worst one so far. This has got to be the worst. Surely it, it can't get worse than this this year. Surely this was terrible. This whole pay-per-view was, was awful. Start to finish. The Black Top Bully versus Dustin Rhodes, the King of the Road match. They both get fired at the end of this match. <laughs> both of them. There's no winners really. Um, we never see them again. Um, the match itself was a joke. They're driving along on this big trailer in in a cage. Loads of hay, and they're, all, they're both fighting each other. They get fired for blading. Um, yeah. Blacktop Bolly beat Dustin Rhodes, and that's the last we see of those two in the in WCW for some time. Then we get a martial arts match with Sonny Ono as the referee, Meng versus Jim Duggan. That's right, Jim Duggan in a martial arts match. This was just pathetic. Even though it lasted seven minutes, it was an absolute waste of time. Meng wins the match. Johnny B. Bad defeated Arn Anderson boxing versus the rest. This was kind of entertaining, I suppose. Johnny B. Bad was actually a decent boxer. Arn Anderson played the wrestler really well. I didn't mind this one. It was decent. We've got Randy Savage going up against Avalanche in a no-rules match. And Savage wins via DQ. Thanks to interference from Ric Flair dressed as a woman. <laughs> It, it, it was funny if it weren't so bad, man. Oh, it'd be funny. Bubba Rogers. That's right, Big Bubba Rogers now. Um, I suppose he's better than the boss and the guardian angel. He's gone back now to Big Bubba Rogers. Um, he beats Sting. That's surprising, um, giving him a big win here. They obviously have big things planned for Big Bubba Rogers. Putting, Sting's putting him over, so... Jesus... The Nasty Boys defeated Harlem Heat. This feud's been great. I've seen this match too many times, and this was probably the better one of the bunch, and probably the better one of the better matches of this show, to be honest with you. Balls count anywhere. Complete brawl. Got a bit ridiculous with all the hot dogs and the mustard, and yeah. I got a bit ridiculous with all the sauce. But apart from that, this is probably one of their better matches. We've seen far too many Nasty Boys Harlem Heat matches. If I've seen one, I've seen enough, to be honest with you. It's not very good. Harlem Heat are decent. The Nasty Boys absolutely suck in 94. I'm sorry. And then Hogan versus Vader. Um, they have a strap match. And Hogan wins the match. But he drags Ric Flair around instead of, of Vader. Yeah, make that make sense. It didn't make sense. None of it made sense. The match was okay. It's uh, Vader and Hogan actually had a pretty decent match, to be honest with you, until Ric Flair kept getting involved constantly. Why Ric Flair had felt the need to get involved in this match, I don't know. It didn't really make any sense. And you had the Renegade as well. That was absolutely awful. The Team U Ultimate Warrior. That was dreadful. Jimmy Hart got tied up backstage somewhere. He came running out halfway through. That was ridiculous. There's just too many people involved. Just let Vader, uh, Vader and Hogan have a match. It was actually pretty good if you didn't have all the interference. And then Hogan, Vader comes out of the strap. Hogan straps up Flair and touches the turnbuckles and wins the match. Make it make sense. Make this whole show make sense because it didn't. It was dreadful. The worst show I've seen so far going through all this. All these retro reviews. This has been the worst show. It was dreadful. Dreadful. Waste of time. Don't watch it.